Today, I'm going to tell you a story of a picture that changed the world. Hmm, maybe not the whole world, but the world of Polish medicine for sure. Everything started 30 years ago, exactly in November 1985, when Polish surgeon Zbigniew Rediga conducted the first successful heart transplant in the country. For at that time, the surgery was considered impossible. It took ambitious effort to make Rediga's idea come to life. Fighting communist regime, lack of funds, and people's belief on heart transplants were major problems he came across on his way to save people's lives. It was a great challenge to convince families of a donor to agree for surgery as it was to convince the organ recipient. In late 80s, Polish people were still convinced that heart is the center of a human being, that it constitutes their beliefs, feelings and personality. Heart was considered a sacrum, and a heart transplant was seen as a crazy experiment by many. That's why, although Dr. Rediger was respected for his skills and mind, his colleagues were pessimistic to his plans. Having no time to his wife, the doctor struggled with his personal life as well, reaching for alcohol after a huge argument with his family or after a patient's death. Nevertheless, it didn't stop Dr. Rediger from achieving his goal. For well-being of his patients, he went against his political beliefs and asked the government for funds to buy medical equipment and open his own clinic in the small town of Zabrze. The legendary surgery took place on November 5, 1985, lasted 23 hours and was very demanding. The legendary photo picturing Rediga checking his patients' vital signs was taken by James Stanfield and in 1987, it was proclaimed a photo of the year in National Geographic. In the corner of the room, we can see Rediga's assistant who fell asleep after the straining fight. Rediga was famous for conducting the first heart transplant in Poland, but he himself said, People know my name for performing the first heart transplant in Poland, but I know that if I didn't try, then after four or five years, someone else would do it. However, I am sure that no one would create the first Polish artificial heart. If I hadn't fought for creating such a device today, hundreds of people would be dead because there would be no artificial ventricles which saved their health and lives. He was also known for gathering young surgeons and letting them to the surgical table. He trained countless amazing surgeons. At that time in Poland, surgeons were specialists only in one field, while Dr. Religa performed all types of complex surgeries, allowing young doctors to assist. That's why surgeons learning from Dr. Religa called their internship Dr. Religa's School. While their peers were only allowed to watch surgeries, Zbigniew Religa's interns already had 400 or even 500 experiences of operating on an open heart. Those doctors later on became an elite of Polish surgeons. All in all, Zbigniew Rediga became a hero of many. Thanks to his courage, determination and unique skills, not only Polish medicine has significantly changed, but he also is a legend among worldwide known cardiosurgeons.